everyone this is Tanvir welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you how I customize my Linux main cinnamon desktop and this is how it's gonna look like once I'm done customizing the desktop and before I start the video I just want to thank the people that are supporting me and signed up for the membership so I really really appreciate this guys so as you can see guys this is a freshly installed Linux main cinnamon desktop so the first thing that I'm going to do is download the project file. You can find the link in the description box of this video. So let's just quickly download this one. Again guys, thank you so much for the support. This really means a lot to me and without the support, I won't be doing this work I will have to do something else get a job or something so thank you so much guys so let's go to the downloads directory and here is the project file so I'm going to extract it and delete the zip file now make sure to keep this project file inside the downloads directory here like this or else it won't work because I'm going to run a few scripts here so I have done uh, I have prepared all these scripts so you won't have to do the hard work all the commands are here so just run the script and it will automatically install all the necessary files and stuff like that so the first thing that I'm going to do here inside this project file is go to the download links and here I have provided with some links to the icon pack and the theme so let's just copy paste here and uh, this is the conkey theme Alright, so let's download the icon pack first, then the theme, download this one, Dracula Slim, and finally the con key. So I will download this one, the second one. So click on download, click on download, and click on download. Now once I've downloaded this, close this one and go to downloads directory and here extract all these downloaded files. So let's right click and select extract here. And let's just delete these ones. So now All right, guys. Now, what you have to do is select these three folders and move them to the project files inside the project files like this. And then right click on an empty space and then click on open in terminal. Now, before you run the script, right click on the script and make sure that it is and go to permissions and select this one this one should be selected execute and for the second script as well make sure that this box is selected now right click go to open in terminal and then 
let's just clear this up and then just run the script type your password so this might take a few minutes to finish up installing all right press enter all right as you can see guys that it has automatically applied the wallpaper as well so what i'm going to do is clear this and run the second script so for that type this cripd 2 dot sh press enter press y press enter and this will take a few minutes as well again guys thank you so much for buying the membership packages and this really means a lot to me so as you can see guys this is done so i'm going to clear it actually close the terminal and here our work is done so i'm going to close the window all right so now the next thing that i'm going to do is right click on the panel and then click on panel edit mode and then drag this in the center and then right click again and then edit panel mode turn it off and then panel settings and then here i'm going to make the panel height a bit smaller maybe like this okay now close this one and then i'm going to type extensions and then go to extensions go to download so i'm going to download this first one which is transparent panels so click on this icon this download icon and then go to manage and here select the transparent panels and then click on this plus sign and as you can see that the bottom panel is transparent now so exit from this one and then what i'm going to do is search for themes and then select themes all right here click on advanced settings and then click on applications and then i'm going to select the dracula theme and then go to icons and then scroll down to the bottom and then select the one that i've just um, added inside the project file and then go to desktop and here select dracula slim as well and our work is done here so close all right guys so the next thing that i'm going to do is right click on the panel and go to applet and then here go to download and then i'm going to search for weather now click on this download icon this download button and then this will install the weather applet which will show up at the bottom right over here now go to manage and then select weather click on the plus sign and it should be here there you go all right let's close this one and then what i'm going to do i'm going to add some applications on the panel here because there's only three applications right now the terminal and the browser and the files now if you want you can make the icons a bit smaller all right guys so i have added a few applications and i will add some more but before that let's go search for conkey manager 
so click on concave manager and here click on the sign and then go to settings and then select this one run conkey at system startup then go to location and then click on add and then here right click and click on show hidden files and then scroll up and go to dot config and then select conkey click on open and then select dot config conkey click on ok and then refresh and here is our conkey theme select this one this first one all right guys so the next thing that i will do is search for startup application and here click on this plus sign and then click on custom command and then i'm going to name it name it glava and then click on browse and then go to dot config then go to glava and here select glava startup dot sh click on open and then click on add now what i will do is all right so there is a little bit of problem here it is showing 97 degrees celsius which is unreal <laughs> this cannot be possible so i'm going to just quickly restart and by the way you have to restart after you added the glava startup application to the startup application list so it will start working after you restart your system so i'm going to quickly restart and check if the glove application works all right guys so i have restarted the system and as you can see that there's zero degree temperature showing here but i think this issue will be fixed if you install this in a real machine right now i'm using a virtual box because i have to install the iso files multiple times for the purpose of making these tutorials that is why i'm using a virtual box so it is easier for me to just install it and then delete it and then experimenting so that is why but if you install it in a real machine this will show up all right guys now i'm going to play a music or a video to make sure that the visualizer is working properly so let's go to youtube and play something so glava is a visualizer all right, so as you can see, Glava is working properly. And um, I don't know what is happening here. The high and the lows are the same. And definitely, this is a wrong temperature. So I'll just look into it. And don't worry, guys. I'll update the files in my website here. So. I hope the issue will be solved for this weather widget so let's just take a quick look over here by the way if you want to get the correct weather for your location i have a readme file here so you can just click on it and read the instructions how to get it so basically you have to sign up in the openweathermap.org website uh, make an account it is totally free mm, and then you will get a api number and the city id so basically you will need two things the api key and the city id and you get those two and then go to weather.sh And then paste it here CD ID and API key and it will show your locations weather so let's go to home directory and then go to view and then show hidden files and then go to dot config com key here go to scripts and run the weather sh 
and let's see all right guys so i have fixed it kind of so this is showing the exact weather the temperature of the weather degree celsius but the high and the low is the same so if i find a solution for this i will update the weather sh file all right guys so this is it thank you for watching i hope you like the video the customization and i hope you'll try it on your desktop as well and uh, i wish you the best luck and thank you so much guys for the support and i really really appreciate this and that is it guys i will see you in the next video